What's good, camp folk, and welcome back to the review table. Today, we're talking non-budget sticks. Now, this Davidoff coming in at about $22 a stick. Let's see what it's all about and see if it's worth it. Let's go. backdrop of the cigar uh, here it so it shows that it's a Dominicana on the band here but not totally um, the cigar um, has Dominican tobacco but it's only in the wrapper and the filler the binder in this stick is from Ecuador so there you go it's a little bit of false advertisement on Davidoff's part right there but we'll see what this cigar is all about let's give it a cut and give it a cold draw and see what we pick up in this cigar here let's go 2014, let's see what the seven-year-old age tobacco tastes like. Nice and light, uh, creamy notes to it, it's pretty woodsy. Uh, offers a little bit of little topsoil, a little dirt. Nothing crazy, nothing strong. Um, Yeah, so that's it. So uh, seems pretty mild right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing lit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to keep you guys engaged in this video, I'm gonna make it a little bit short. I'm gonna give you a quick profile view of the first uh, draw of the cigar in the first third. We'll cut back into a second third and then a final third. Definitely gonna try to keep this video under five minutes. Let's see if I can pull it off. So right off the bat, look at all that smoke coming out of this cigar. Really nice plumes of smoke on it. Uh, there's some pepper on the retro hill. It's giving a nice slight burn uh, in the nostrils there. Uh, the burn line is pretty wavy um, right now, but just let it so we'll let it catch up to itself. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the cigar itself, I mean, looks pretty good. It's nice tobacco uh, veins. Uh, looks pretty good. I'll try to get a little close up here for you. And you can see that the there's nice shine to this uh, wrapper here. It looks very, very nice, very well constructed. It's a nice firm stick. Um, it just looks good. There's no toothiness to it. Uh, there's no cracks in it. Don't know what type of tobacco it is, but it's labeled as a 257 hybrid. <laughs> so first thoughts on this, it doesn't taste bad. It's just really light, um, light woodsy notes. Um, definitely pepper in the retro. It's creamy, it's smoky. Uh, there's nothing that's uh, ringing out to me. Super, super mild, super mild. Um, hmm, we'll see. Well, let's take a break and let's smoke it a little bit further down so we can give you an update. All right, camp folk. I did not give you as many updates as I thought I was gonna do for good reason. This cigar right here, it's about a $22 cigar retail, but it smokes like a $4 stick. Let me explain. If I'm gonna spend $22 on a cigar, hell, if I'm gonna spend $10 more on a cigar, I just expect a little bit more from it. Being Davidoff, it's a stature thing, so if you wanna smoke a cigar like this, you're, you're thinking, you know, higher class, gonna get some more from it. Hey, we're smoking a very good constructed stick. Not saying that it wasn't, it was definitely, okay well constructed um wavy at first 
then uh, fixed itself uh, towards the bottom of the first third and second third. But the problem is it just lacked flavor. I got more flavor out of my tequila on this one. <laughs> so for me, it's a no. Uh, I, it did not wow me at all. Um, I'm not even going to um, entertain you with a, 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 a final third thought because it is it's simply not changing at all just woodsy um nothing nothing to wow at all again so i don't know if you smoked a cigar and it wowed you let me know what you think in the comment section below uh but again i'm gonna wrap this one up and bid you all a well afternoon a well morning a well evening wherever you are i appreciate it remember be kind to one another and be kindred and a leaf until next time we'll see you for the next review